Well, you know what that means. Yep, it's time for more work on the Infinity Q50. And welcome back to the channel. A long, long way to go. And of course, we're going to continue on the Infinity Q50 aesthetic pieces install. We've already done the front uh, chin lip spoiler. Uh, we did the rear deck lid, <coughs> kind of an M3 BMW style uh, duck wing, uh, all Nente. Again, we're still not exactly sure how to sell it, so we're just going to run with that. All Nente products, and so far, uh, been pretty impressed. They they have fit really well, uh, to tell you the truth. Uh, again, just to reiterate, we did struggle a little bit on the front chin lip spoiler, but I mean, it's it's pretty flimsy plastic. And once we got it all mounted up there with some good hardware and a lot of double-sided tape and got everything situated, it's it's A-OK -okay now. It looks great. But we're going to continue on with the third installment. We got our, our last piece in we were waiting for. Uh, I'll show that to you in just a second. But yet again, here in Southeast Texas, you just wait a couple of days and the weather's completely different. So... Uh, pretty warm when we did the front a couple of days later cold and miserable and rainy a couple of days later sunshiny and warm as can be <laughs> just wait around for a little bit but anyway we're going to get on with the third installment of this project so let me get the camera flipped around here and i'll show you what we got uh, you missed a spot <laughs> all right third and final piece here well for this part of it at least anyways one rear diffuser <clears throat> again um faux carbon fiber but it looks uh looks really nice as well I've, I've been pretty impressed with the the finish on these things i mean man they're beautiful uh every single piece has came undamaged they were packaged really well we had a box show up with quite a bit of damage on it opened it up everything was packed in foam and wrapped in styrofoam and packed with cardboard no problems anyways so we're going to get on today with getting this piece installed on the back. Now, this is the only piece so far that has come with the double-sided tape pre-installed. So uh, I'm not too sure about that just yet. We'll have to see. Um, when you look at it down here on the edges, man, that tape is pretty close right on the edge of it. So I hope, I hope it's thick enough, you know, to be able to grab the bumper. Um, but anyway, we're going to see. But uh, anyway, it's pretty nice product. Uh, now this piece is pretty sturdy. Most of the other pieces that we've gotten have been relatively flimsy, but uh, this one, this one's pretty stout. So anyway, we're gonna get the car back. Uh, we got it up in here already, obviously, but we'll get set up here. We can get underneath it and see what we're gonna have to do to get this dude installed. And uh, anyway, here's the. The deck lid spoiler been on there now for a little while it looks really nice i mean it's holding i mean uh, uh, that thing is stout man i'm telling you it ain't coming off that's for sure anyway we uh we got those pieces installed we were waiting on the last piece uh it's come in now so we're gonna go ahead and get that on there and see how it goes a couple of clips huh? got a couple of clips right here to take out <clears throat> clips to take out a lot of dirt I 
right, well, <clears throat> kind of the initial just test fit, dry fit or whatever, I noticed right off the get-go that these two holes right here that they've already put in there, they match up with the factory holes in the bottom of the bumper uh, cover for the factory clips. But these holes are not big enough for the factory clips to go through. So we're going to get those drilled out uh, to the correct size and then we'll try test fitting it all again and see if we can figure out exactly where we're going to put it. Seven sixteenths. I don't think it has to go up like this, otherwise the double-sided tape won't even touch. double-sided tape goes that's kind of the best spot but out here there's nothing for it to grab that's what I'm saying like right up here but like where we had it first where we had it pushed up it was it was all the way over like this and the double-sided tape was touching everywhere See, there's more, there's more of this edge showing. Oh, right there. And on this side? Yeah. I see what you mean. Not much, but. Yeah, I mean, it don't look really bad. Mm. <clears throat> well. <clears throat> yeah. <sighs> don't mind the blue tape, obviously. <laughs> But we just got it clamped underneath right now with some some vice grips just to kind of fit it in place a little bit. So right now I have the factory clip holes lined up and the rest of it, well, uh, I don't know. That's a pretty good gap for the tape to try to to maintain i mean it's it's lined up like right on the edge right on the edge right there so it's not over <clears throat> the other side is okay i guess so as with the front fitment is a little to be desired we're gonna have to work with it a lot to, to try to get it to line up as best we can and maintain like an even body line across the back too. So right now, it looks okay on the tail pipes, but really this side of the bumper of the diffuser is kind of further over that way. So there's more, I don't know what you're gonna call it. It's just not centered on the car. <laughs> the tail pipes look okay, but I don't know, anyway, we're going to do the best we can do, right? Um, keep moving on. All right, well, we test fit it, and uh, we just got it pulled back off laying underneath there. So uh, it doesn't fit the best in the world. We're just going to have to make do with what we can. It, it's just going to barely be hanging on to this edge right here, just, just barely. I, I hope the tape is enough to hold it. Um, we'll just have to see. But that's really the only place we can get it to fit where it either doesn't hit the exhaust or the bumper covers or the, the diffuser's already too far in. It's hitting the bumper cover right here. Um, also, what we're going to do is, and they do not do this from the factory when they send it to you, is, is we're going to go ahead and add 
double-sided tape all the way across the bottom edge. The only thing that they send to attach the bottom edge is just the two factory clips, which is, is it just kind of flops around. So <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and add tape to this whole entire bottom edge as well and then push the pins back in there um, just to help it hold some. And also right here on these two edges right here, we'll go ahead and add some tape to that. And those are just going to barely grab a hold of this surface right here. Now the outside edges where it comes down right here and across the bottom, that's pretty good contact. So hopefully once we get all this cleaned up, uh, the double sided tape will make pretty good contact and we're going to go ahead and end up drilling through it. There, there is a hole in it already um, for, for something, a clip or something, but there's nothing in the factory cover right there. So we're going to go ahead and drill that. We're going to end up putting some washers and bolts in it like we did on the front uh, chin lip spoiler to help hold the bottom edge up up which should help this line stay better lined up as well so anyway that's where we're at now we're gonna do the same thing some scotch bright we're gonna get all this grime and dirt buffed off and since we can't see that i'm not too worried about the paint really at all uh, and it's gonna all be covered up so we're gonna get serious on this with some uh, some chem tool to get that that paint surface really as dull and kind of scratched up as we can Ho hopefully the tape will hold on as best we can i don't know we'll just have to see but anyway that's where we're at for now so anyway let's let's do that and we'll see what happens We'll put two rows. Yeah, just butt it up against the other one. Went a little better in the pot. All right, well, it actually went a little better, I guess, than what I maybe initially inspected. Anyway, there it is. Looks pretty good. Yeah. Uh, it's centered up. Eh. Okay. Uh, again, I mean, the fitment's not like 100% on, but, you know, it is what it is, right? It's flimsy plastic. <laughs> anyway, we're going to get it all cleaned up right quick. We'll get everything buttoned up, and we'll get it pulled out, do a final walk around, and we will talk some more about it. So overall thoughts on the Nente uh, brand components that we bought, or however you say it, again, we still not entirely for sure. But on the overall, uh, I think for the price point, they are a decent product. Uh, again, it's not very expensive stuff, so I wouldn't expect it to fit, you know, exactly right like a glove. Now, that piece, 
a bomb, man. That thing was on there. It fits perfect. We didn't have any issues with it at all. The rear diffuser, it came out okay. Now, I, overall, again, again, from the price point, would I do the Nente stuff again? Uh, maybe so, I guess, uh, depending on how much I wanted to spend, right? There's other companies out there that build plenty of these things, uh, Vicrez being one of them. Now, Vicrez does build a very quality component. Uh, I've heard a lot of good things about them. But from the price point, right, the Vicrez is naturally higher in price than the Nente stuff is. But I think maybe the quality may be better. I don't know. I have no firsthand knowledge with the Vicrez components. <clears throat> but if Vicrez was listening and they wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison, feel free to send us the same components Vicrez and we will plant Vicrez all over this car and talk all about it and what we think about it but they did not and have not yet so uh, we reached out and got the Nente stuff so there it is uh, everything's on it looks great um, a, a little bit on the bumper cover I mean the the rear diffuser we're having some separation spots already uh, I figured that was gonna come but maybe uh, We'll get it all good and heated up, and uh, we'll clamp it back up, put some more tape on it maybe. I don't know. But anyway, car looks great. Everything come out great. It looks fine. Uh, very happy with the with, with the way it came out to be. So I think if you were going to do it, Nente's okay. Um, buy their stuff. Take your time. Make it fit. Uh, put some extra fasteners, extra tape, and you will be just fine if you want to spend some more dollars and get some better stuff i think vic res may be better again i don't know that for 100 for sure but if you want to go all the way and get some 100 real carbon fiber components well that'd probably be the way to go because uh there's plenty of companies out there that build that stuff also true carbon fiber and they probably do fit very well i'm sure but that's it for now we got the components installed that we set out to do the, the chin lip, the rear uh, duck bill, and the diffuser. So that's it for now. Stay tuned. Coming down the road, there will be some more done to the car. Uh, she has a lot of plans. You know, it just takes time, right? So again, like I said before, wheels and tires are coming. Probably more than likely exhaust. Uh, we will not waste our time on a cold air induction kit for these cars because, frankly, there's not a single one of them out there that's built worth of crap where it really doesn't put hot air into the car. So really and truly, the factory air boxes are the best for these cars with just drop-in high-flow filters, which we're going to be probably doing some of those. And there are some intake tubes for the air uh, air intakes that, that uh, work really well. Uh, again, all that knowledge came from Speed Culture Studios. That guy is the bomb on these Q50s and his rocks. And we can only hope to... Uh, <laughs> get this one there someday so for now thanks for watching guys i appreciate y'all if you haven't subscribed it's entirely up to you but i would appreciate you coming along for the ride we've got all kinds of projects here in this place off-roading with the jeep we got the srt grand cherokee of course the infinity as you can tell our motorhome is still not back in the driveway i, I don't even know what to say about that uh <laughs> i guess we'll get it back eventually but uh, there's a lot of projects coming on the motorhome also. So if you are in it for the motorhome stuff, do not worry. There is stuff coming. We do have some more off-road stuff. There are some plans in the future for the Grand Cherokee, maybe on the SRT as well. So for now, thanks for watching. We will see you guys very soon.